even though this says easy it is a very tricky question and what makes it tricky is this statement that if there is no single number report null hey guys welcome back to our channel on this channel we try to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions this video is in continuation of the sql 50 crack sql interview and 50 question series where we are trying to learn hands-on sql using 50 carefully curated questions covering diverse aspects of sql so we are already done with the select part basic joins as well as the basic aggregate functions we are currently working on sorting and grouping then we'll be moving to advanced select and joins sub queries and finally with advanced string functions regex and clauses in this video we are going to solve this question called biggest single number and try to learn from so yeah let's jump right in okay so this is the 20th question of the series called biggest single number and if i look at the companies so this question has been asked in apple interviews a lot of times okay so let's see what the question has to say we are given a table called my numbers with one column number and the data type being integer this table may contain duplicates that is there is no primary key for this table and each row of this table contains an integer a single number is a number that appeared only once in this table. We are asked to find the largest single number and if there is no single number, report null. Remember, this is very important line. Let's look at this example and see what our output should look like. So here we are given certain numbers and we need to find out the biggest number that only appeared once in this table. So 8 appeared twice, 3 appeared twice, 1, 4, 5 and 6 appeared once. So what is the biggest number out of the numbers that appeared only once? 6 and that is what we have in our output. There can be a second case as well. What if the example is like this? Here 8 appears twice, 7 appears twice, 3 appears thrice. So there is not one number that appears only once. So in that case your output should be null. So by now we know that our first step should be we need to group by this number and try to count each number how many times they appear. How can we do that? So it's very simple. What we can do is we can do from this table called my numbers. We can go ahead and group by group by the number column and then return the number column and do count star and let's uh, alias this as count. Okay, let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we get. This is not yet complete. We are just building our logic step by step. So now we have in our output the number and the number of times they appear. Okay, now once we have this, we are only interested in those numbers whose count is equal to 1. Okay, so we remember that once we group by and then if we want to do a filtering, we need to use having, not where. Why? Because we are going to do a filtering based on an aggregate. So we are grouping by and then we can do having count is equal to 1. So here if I do having count of star, count of star is equal to 1. Okay, let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we get here in our output. Okay, so now we are only left with those numbers which only appeared once. Okay, now since we know the count of each of this is one, we do not require this part, right? Because this is redundant. So we return all those numbers whose count is equal to one. So they appear only once in this table. Okay, now once we have those numbers, then out of this, we need to return the maximum. Now from this point, we can take two routes. The first route is we need to order by order this entire output in descending order and then the first one the biggest one so what we can do is we can do order by the number in descending order so if i run this so this will be sorted in descending order so six comes very first now we need the biggest number in our output we need the largest single number so how can we limit this to only return the largest single number we can do limit one so out of all the input just limit the first row and if i go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our out so in for our first example this passes the test case our output is six expected output is six as well but this is not going to pass the second case the second case that we looked at was this that if there is nothing you need to return null in our case it is going to return an empty thing why let us switch to Excel and try to learn that. So this is the first example that we had where once we grouped by and counted how many times each of these number appears in this table. So we had this and we were only interested in the uh, count star being one. So we were only interested in these 
four highlighted ones and out of this we got the output six after rearranging it okay once we are done with this but the problem is coming with the second example so th this is the second example where once we count that this uh, all these numbers appear different number of times and none of these numbers are appearing only once so just let me go back to the code and see what the problem is having once we group by and try to filter where count star is equal to none in this second example this group by if it does having count star is equal to none what is this going to return since there is no row that satisfies this it is going to return you an empty thing so this entire thing is returning you an empty thing and then once you order by nothing there is nothing to order by so it remains empty you limit one again remains empty so that is why in our second case our output is coming out to be an empty but in these cases we need the output to be null how can we do that so the trick is so if i put this in parentheses and write return this entire thing return this entire thing and this should be aliased as whatever is required in our output so as number this should be the name of the column and let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get so now it is accepted in both of the cases so here in this also it is returning you null why because in the second case this entire thing we just saw that is returning an empty thing and once you do a return of an empty thing then this returns you a null value so this is the first solution that you can do there is another method that you can apply so let us go back to the point where i said that okay after this you can take two approach and that the that point was this that after having this we are only interested in this one so basically we are here we are at this point right or at this point de depending upon the example now obviously out of these numbers we are only interested in getting the maximum of this so what we can do is the group by thing we can treat this as a table so we can do okay this entire thing this entire thing in parentheses is our table let's alias this as table t and from this table from this table t what do we need we need the maximum value so return the maximum value from the number column so t dot number and let's alias this as number let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so now this is also accepted in this case so maximum of things and again if there is nothing it will maximum always returns null let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so see this is accepted and this is how we do it even though this says easy it is a very tricky question and what makes it tricky is this statement that if there is no single number report null had it been not the case it would have been very easy but we learned that okay either you can do a return of a entire thing and returning an empty thing gives you null or you can use the max function to do the same so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there's a better way or more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video